Hey guys, today's video is where I'm going to talk about some recent DNFs and then I'm going to lump that together with an unhaul part two because all of the ones that I DNF'd I'm going to unhaul so I think it makes sense to combine them in one video. I have a lot of books that I'm unhauling so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, the first book I want to talk about, I don't own a physical copy. I read it on my Kindle and I read it for a book club. And I just could not finish this book. And that's The Light Between Oceans. I'm going to insert a picture right here. Uh, I made it to about 65% of this book. And I just could not take it anymore. I hated the character of Isabel. I hated the plot devices in this book. I thought half of the book was great. You know, great uh, imagery and writing and I really like the idea of working in a lighthouse and setting a story there. I just cannot deal with Isabel's ego slash ironic scenario of her being a mother and then not wanting to return a baby to their mother. That to me made no sense. And then her husband's kind of a pushover and knows what he's supposed to do but has absolutely no conviction. It's going to make for some interesting discussion at book club because as I was reading this book I was like, the girls are gonna love this book. <laughs> I'm gonna be the only one that doesn't like this book. Again, um, sometimes that happens. Sometimes I get lucky and I really love the book, but not this time. Another one that I DNF'd was one that I'm actually pretty sad about, but I'm just gonna keep it real, you guys. Dead Wake by Eric Larson. I'm a huge fan of nonfiction, and I think I've just read enough nonfiction at this point to know what I personally like when I read nonfiction, and Eric Larson is not it. He is not for me. I don't like the fact that he bloats his books with a bunch of unnecessary facts. Um, I feel like there are a lot of writers out there that can put you in a scene and put you in a character's shoes without writing a whole chapter about it. Um, I don't think he is into that. I think he loves the minute details. I think he loves telling you what color shoes the character was wearing, what speed the boat was going at, on what day, the color of someone's eyes. Like he loves all of that detail and just for other people in my work, but for me, I'm just not a fan. I made it about 75 pages, so I gave him a good try. And I also read The Devil in the White City and I felt the exact same thing. I felt like, you know, he could have just focused on the story of H.H. H. Holmes, but instead he wanted to focus on the architecture of the World's Fair. He wanted to tell you how many lanes they had, why this person was pissed on that day, why that per you know, it's like I don't care about all that stuff. And it just makes me not enjoy what I'm reading. And I hate that because the whole point of nonfiction, the beauty of nonfiction for me is that a great nonfiction writer can take a boring story and really bring it to life. And that's what I love about nonfiction. I admire Eric Larson's passion. I definitely think you can see how passionate he is about the subject that he's writing about. He is so passionate, he wants to tell you every little thing and I get it, but I'm not here for reading 380 pages of a story that could have been 200 pages. Do you know what I mean? I'm probably alone on that because Eric Larson is one of those beloved nonfiction writers and um, yeah, I can definitely see his appeal, but I just don't think he's my cup of tea, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, sorry Eric, we're gonna have to part ways, but that's okay. There are plenty of other nonfiction writers out there for me. Another author that I'm breaking up with, with the whole it's not you, it's me, uh, theme here is Jhumpa Lahiri. She wrote Interpreter of Maladies, a short story collection that won a ton of awards. And I read that short story collection and I was like, eh, this is pretty good. Some of these are really good. And then I don't know what happened. I saw her at my used bookstore. I kept seeing her at my used bookstore and now I know why. I just cannot get into her books. This is another short story collection, Unaccustomed Earth. I DNF'd this one. I also DNF'd the namesake, her novel. I just cannot get into it and it's so sad because I'm all about reading more diversely and so I was really excited to find her books but this is just not not happening for me so um, these are getting unhauled and going back to these bookstores. So those are more recent DNFs. I have an old DNF that I told myself I was going to get back to but that was a lie. I'm not going to ever get back to this book and that's Lives of Girls and Women by Alice Munro. When I picked this up at the used bookstore I thought it was a short story collection because Monroe is a notable short story writer and so when I started reading this and I realized it was a novel I was like oh oops my bad um so I DNF'd it at like 80 pages I still read like 80 pages of it and 
I told myself I'd just go back to it after I read a short story collection by her. I thought this was okay. Um, to me, it felt kind of like I've read the story before by someone that wrote it a lot better. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to get back into this. I do have a short story collection by Alice Munro on my shelves. I'm going to try it, see if I like it, but if not, she's going to go with her sister to the used bookstore. And then the next pile of books I have here are just unhauls. I'm not really going to go into a lot of these um, because half of them are just books that I have better editions of now on my shelves and it doesn't make sense to have two copies. And then the other half I just, I'm going to just rattle off why I'm unhauling it for whatever reason. So I'm just going to jump right in. The first one is my paperback edition of Burial Rights. I just recently bought a hardcover edition that's so much better and I'm going to be gifting this one to a friend. Next is Death and Holy Orders by P.D. James. This is a mass paperback edition that's kind of chunky and very uh, tiny text and I just it wouldn't be really a lot of fun to read and luckily I found a, a hardback edition that I'll be able to read a lot better so that one's going back to the used bookstore. The Time Traveler's Wife, I have a better edition of this on my shelf. Um, the Diary of Anais Nin, I read this I think the first year that I started my channel and I absolutely was really disappointed with this book because this is kind of an edited, they basically took her diaries and made them PG, which I'm not interested in that at all. That's the whole point of Anais Nin, in my opinion. So that's going back to the used bookstore. And I paid full price for this. I was kind of bummed because it's like new, but whatever. Next I have A Little Princess. I bought a better edition of this and you can see that in my recent book haul. Um, I bought a beautiful hardback edition so this little Puffin Classics edition can go with the rest. Anna Green Gables, another paperback edition. I have a much better copy of this on my shelves now so I don't need to keep that. Same with Persuasion. I don't know what I was thinking with this edition. This is a horrible edition of this book. I don't know what these people were thinking but um, the cover is pretty. It's just no, nah. but I have a better edition of this on my shelf, so that's going back to the used bookstore. And then The Shell Collector by Anthony Doerr. This was one of my first short story collections that I ever read. This was okay. I can't really say that I hated it or anything. I just don't think short story collections are for me personally. Um, I'm still going to give two more that I own a try. I have Drown by Juno Diaz and then I have Runaway by Alice Munro. I'm going to give those two a try and... If they don't work for, work out for me, then I'm just going to throw in the towel. I don't think I'm going to try any more short story collections, but this one's going to the used bookstore. Oh, I forgot to put this one in with the other um, Jhumpa Lahiri's. This is Interpreter of Maladies. This was the one that won the Pulitzer Prize. And this one will be going back to the used bookstore along with her other sisters there. And finally, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I was not a fan of this book. I actually did a whole video on really popular books that I didn't like, and I'll be posting that pretty soon here, and this was on there. I couldn't believe that this was The Great Gatsby. It was just one of those things where you finished it and you were like, really? That's it? <laughs> that's kind of how I felt about this book. So it's going back to the used bookstore. There's no sense in just keeping it. So that's part two of my unhaul. And some recent DNFs. I have some other DNFs that I also unhauled that are from months ago that I'm not going to get into. But they're not on my shelves anymore. And they went back to the used bookstore. So um, this would have been a much longer video. But um, yeah, I'm glad that I went through these so I can kind of get them away and um, not take up so much space. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.